Hi again. We'll be doing a GSAT science. This GSAT science is suitable for anyone of any age who is interested in doing GSAT science. If you just want to know it, or if you will be doing GSAT in a few years, fine. The three grader, the eight eight year older, the child that's eight years old can use these videos and learn from them. And the adult also who have passed GSAT age would like to watch the video, feel free to go along. Also I would encourage adults to watch it and help their children who are doing GSAT. So I will jump right in and get started. I will read and you can follow along with the words that are on the screen. GSAT Science Summary This summary is designed to help the student answer GSAT exam questions. Written by a GSAT private tutor who knows how GSAT questions are structured, the questions usually asked, and responses required for GSAT exam questions. Takes just about two hours to watch. Written by Janice Gaynor, that's me, copyright 2014, all rights reserved. Parents, help your children by putting aside two hours to ensure they watch this video. That's about as long as it takes to do one practice test since as one test should take one hour and 15 minutes. You should also do tests and the past papers after watching this video. Of course, repetition is good. Watch this video more than once. Telephone 876-531-7905-353-4752-949-5095 Email Jamaica Island Wide Link at yahoo.com facebook.com slash techno teacher ja our five sense organs are the eyes ears skin nose and tongue the skin is the largest outside organ of the body the skin is made up of the dermis and epidermis. The epidermis is the outer layer and the dermis is the inner layer of the skin. The epidermis is made of mainly dead cells while the dermis is made of nerve endings, blood vessels, hair follicles, fat and sweat glands. Humans get their skin color from a pigment named melanin. The tongue has tiny bumps on its upper surface called taste buds or papillae. The tongue identifies four main tastes, sweet, sour, salty, and bitter. When you breathe in, Air passes over the receptor cells in your nose, which in turn send messages through the olfactory nerve to the brain. Your tongue and nose work together to make you taste the flavors of food. Machines make work easier or change the direction or speed of force. Machines are either simple or complex machines. Simple machines have few or no moving parts. 
The types of simple machines are lever, wheel and axle, pulley, inclined plane, and wedge and screw. Levers have three main parts, the fulcrum, the effort, and the load. The human body also has levers. Example, in moving the head, the load is the head. The effort is the muscles in the back of the neck. And the fulcrum is the joint between the head and the backbone. Examples of the simple machines are lever, bar used to open the lid of a can, wheel and axle, doorknob, pulley, flag, inclined plane, slanted path, wedge, knife, screw, bolt. Complex machines are made up of two or more simple machines working together. Examples of complex machines are television, refrigerator, and car. Air has weight and takes up space. Air is a mixture of different gases. Nitrogen takes up 78% of air, oxygen 21%, and carbon dioxide 0.03%, along with other gases that take up less space. The air is a layer of gases that surround the earth, along with water vapor and other substances. So the atmosphere is made up of gases, water vapor, and other substances. The atmosphere prevents too much heat or cold from reaching us. Air pressure is the amount of air that presses on anything. Air pressure decreases the higher up you go. Cold air sinks while warm air rises. Air pollution is the presence of impure and harmful substances in the air. Substances such as chemicals from factories fumes from vehicles, throwing garbage into landfills, dirt and smoke cause air pollution. Airborne diseases include flu, which is influenza, common cold, the regular cold that you normally have, measles, bronchitis, and tuberculosis, which is TB for short. Water covers more than 70% or two thirds of the air of the earth. Water covers more than 70% or two thirds of the earth. Without water, nothing or no one would be alive. Water is found in rain, snow, clouds, seas, soil, plants, food, and animals. Water is found in all three states of matter, that is in the solid as ice, in liquid as water, and gas as water vapor or steam. Water freezes at zero degrees Celsius and boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Water is made pure for drinking by boiling it 
chlorination adding chlorine to it or filtration that is straining it waterborne diseases include typhoid cholera and poliomyelitis oil and sewage are major pollutants of water the water cycle is the using of water over and over again in nature it involves evaporation of water from bodies of water such as the seas and lakes from plants and from the soil followed by its cooling and condensation into clouds and then precipitation which is water falling back to earth in the form of rain snow sleet or ale precipitation is when water falls back to the earth and it falls back in the form of rain or snow sleet which is ice in countries that have co um, cold weather or hail which is blocks of ice falling from the sky and sleet would be would be ice also on the ground rocks are solid not living material formed from the earth's crust fossils are the remains of dead plants and animals a geologist is a scientist who studies rocks minerals and soils the three main types of rocks are igneous sedimentary and metamorphic igneous rocks are formed from volcano and are called rocks of fire sedimentary rocks are formed from particles of other rocks and animal remains in bodies of water such as seas and oceans cemented together metamorphosis means change metamorphic rocks are rocks that have changed from some other type of rock due to heat pressure and chemical action examples of rock types are for igneous rocks granite and basalt for sedimentary rock shale and limestone and for metamorphic rock slate and marble thank you for watching you should watch these GSAT videos over and over again until you know them from memory. Repetition is important. You can always message me if you have any questions or need further help using my email address, my Facebook page or the telephone numbers that are shown on the screen. So bye bye for now. Bye bye.